Animated sequences are generated by Plotagon. Visit Plotagon.com to check out the app. Good old YouTube. Gotta love it. The same stuff just keeps happening over and over again. Is it more people going nuts over the AMD Ryzen being a powerful gaming CPU even though tons of people say you don't need a powerful processor to game? That's only the beginning of it. I keep seeing the same stuff over and over again when I go looking for tech videos these days. It's getting monotonous. Makes me want to go watch real television again. Well perhaps maybe we should see what's on TV. More history and war documentaries. I suppose it's better than reality shows, but man this cable sucks at this time of night. I do believe that's why YouTube became what it is. Content on demand baby. Or maybe we just need better cable. Nah, TV just sucks. Maybe we should just go out. Have you heard of the new restaurant downtown? Chesla Nerdies. Supposedly even the most cerebral of computer geeks can enjoy some well-priced fine dining. Sounds like a plan. I've been curious about one of their specials ever since I first heard about them. Honey. You're taking longer than me to get ready for a change. What's the hold up? Took me a while to dig this old thing out. Going all Steve Jobs on me tonight, dear. You know it, madame. Our nerdy restaurant awaits. Looks like an interesting restaurant. What kind of food do they serve? I'm guessing all edible stuff. I heard they have quite a variety. Either way, at least nobody will give us any weird looks for talking about computers over the dinner table. That's always a plus. Welcome to Chesla Nerdies, where geekiness is embraced and lightsabers are available on the dance floor. Table for two. Oh yes. To pardon my girlfriend heading off to freshen up, but yes, table for two. Right this way, sir. Better hope she ain't grabbing a lightsaber on the way back. This is one heck of a restaurant, dear. Absolutely. And it's cool that we got right in because all the nerds in town are glued to YouTube watching a bazillion videos about the upcoming rise and release. Or maybe the waitress liked that you took some style cues from the late great Steve Jobs. Nerd up, nerd up, nerd up. Woo 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 woo. So what was the deal with you and YouTube earlier? Tech videos seem to be getting into a bit of a rut these days. I keep seeing the same things over and over again. More problems with the canned stuff from the big channels. It's not just the big channels anymore. Sure there are still pan shot fests out there with wooden scripted dialogue that basically reduces tech content to looking as mass produced as what I'd see in an infomercial bonus points if they don't actually have the very products they're doing pen shot fest videos about but just wanted to jump on the bandwagon. You got that, right. It's almost like if you've seen one video you've seen them all. So what's going on with the smaller channels that has you all concerned? My old style. Over the shoulder videos. The format that's supposed to look like you went over someone's house and watched them mess around with a computer. It's getting run into the ground. That format reminds me of playing a bass guitar. Easy to get into. Hard to master. Sorry. Couldn't resist. I can understand though how easy it is to just film and go though with it format. Where have you seen it going wrong these days? Oh where do I begin? For a starters. The rambling. The video starts. Ramble, 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 ramble. Yuck. If your viewers feel the need to use the skip bar, you're doing something dreadfully wrong. Sadly. Even I've done some of that. The ease of entry into the format lends itself to developing some serious bad habits. I've tried watching some of my older videos and can't even watch them because I spend sometimes the better part of three to five minutes rambling before actually getting to what the video is about. It's okay. It's just part of the learning process and you've learned something here. Imagine if you never caught onto this and learned your lesson. 
It would probably be better if I didn't. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Here you go sir. As ordered. And for your date as well. Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah she had to step out for a bit but she'll be back shortly. I walked by your table earlier and you seemed kind of down and out. Just wanted you to know I'm rooting for you and hope it all works out. Oh no. It's nothing like that. I'm just a bit depressed about a few things on YouTube and we were just talking things over. Ah good. That's always good to hear. I like to make sure our clientele is happy. If I wanted all doom and gloom I'd serve drinks at an after hours bar where everyone was trying to drown their sorrows. Don't worry we don't have any sorrows to drown here. That's good to hear. One important thing though. This one's a freebie. I don't know if she's like me. But us girls get a little nervous if our boyfriends make us into their psychiatrist. Oh don't worry. We're nowhere near that. Excellent. Enjoy your dinner. Dude. Be glad that you are a dude. The gossip in the ladies room. Yikes. You can tell those women aren't watching tech videos on YouTube in their spare time. Oh brother. Or should I say. Oh sister. You got that right. Actually the waitress here thinks I might be making you into my psychiatrist a bit much. Want me to send you a bill? Good grief. Trying to tune out all those gossipy hags did get me thinking though. Have you noticed another type of tech video on YouTube? You mean Greenham Gaming? Of course. He's not the only one getting a bit more cinematic with tech content. The nice thing about what Greenham does is that it's nowhere near as can't. Far more of a passion project. Plus he doesn't follow the official YouTube NAG procedures as closely as a result of his format, or ramble because the format doesn't allow for it. Sounds to me like you should do some of that sort of thing. I did. People on YouTube thought I was parodying him. Internet people. Well I think you know what to do. There comes a point where you have to not give a darn about what people on the internet think and just do what you want to do. I actually wrote a blog entry about that a while back. Oftentimes, those who know something the least know it the loudest. That's probably where I'll go with this sort of thing from here on out. I had a great time tonight, honey. Thanks for dinner. Check, please. So what do you think will be on TV when we get home? Do I want to know? Only one way to find out. Late night news. Time to find out who got shot, where the nasty car accidents were, or whatever. Yeah. Screw this real television stuff. Let's go see what's on the computer. Oh look. More jerks in the comments who think I'm not a real PC builder or gamer because I'm a woman. Sounds like the internet alright. Doesn't it always? There are some things about the internet that I will never understand. But at the same time, there are some things about the internet that just never change. Right on. Preach it brother. You too.